Hello, I hope you're in fine voice. Now, today I want to take a look at how to add some punch to your voice using Audacity. And you may want to listen to this using headphones. So let's take a look at something I recorded earlier. Here it is. Our technical support team is always ready for your call and always there to answer your questions. Sounds OK, doesn't it? But what can I do to give that a little bit more punch and a little bit more oomph? Let's see what happens if I add some EQ. Now, EQ is equalisation and it means just really adding in a little bit of bass or a little bit of treble. You go to effects and then you go to equalization, which is here. And then I'm going to go to one that I prepared earlier, which is this one. So I've added in about that amount of not very much. Look, it's up to 3 dB of low end. So this side is the low end. So the bassier notes and oh, blimey, sorry. Just uh, mess that up. I've just drawn this. You see, you can draw around what, what you need to do. I've got a bit of a roll off there. And then this is the, the sort of high end, high frequency. So the treble, basically. So I want a little bit more treble in my voice, but not so much bass. But I don't want to go too much. So I'm now going to apply this. And let's also now just add some amplify, get the amplification right. Now, amplification can be positive or negative. In this case, it's uh, minus 1.331 dB, but always it'll work that out automatically, but always make sure this new peak amplitude is at zero. So let's just do that. And it should bring it in. It's just reduced it a bit. And now let's have a listen to this. Our technical support team is always ready for your call and always there to answer your questions. So I've added a little bit of... Uh, bass into that and a little bit of treble. It's sounding a little bit fuller, but now what I want to do is go on to stage two, which is to add some compression. All right, so same process. We go to effects and then let's come down to the compressor this time. And I stick to the default. So I think that's the best way to do it. No faffing around because otherwise your, your voice will sound over compressed and you'll sound like you're a radio DJ or voiceover woman or voiceover man, which you don't want. So stick with these defaults. Always check it's minus 12 on there on the threshold, minus 40, two to one ratio, 0.2 attack and one second release. Just press OK and that should do it. There we go. You can see it's already filled out nicely. And then I want to return to effects. I'm going to normalize now to minus 3 dB, which is a sort of standard normalization. There we go. It's defaulted to minus 3 dB. Let's do that. It'll bring it within range. Great. Reduce the sound. And now let's take a listen. Our technical support team is always ready for your call and always there to answer your questions. The trick when adding processing to your voiceover, uh, whatever software you're using, is to be subtle. A little goes a long, long way in voiceovers, so always remember that. Thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.